Hi, I'm Deborah from South Essex Slings. I'm going to show you how to use the Boba X carrier with an older child. So, in your waistband, behind your waistband, are the Velcro adjustments. So it goes on small for a newborn and gradually grows with your child as it comes out. So you'll fit that to fit your child's leg length and then pop your waistband on and secure that nice and snug so it doesn't slide about. Where your waistband goes depends on the size of your child. You're wanting baby's head to be up on the firm part of your chest so wherever their bottom is, is where your waistband will sit. Then we get the panel sized. So these adjustments here on the top of the panel deal with the height. So for a tiny newborn that would be on its tightest, but I've loosened them off because my child's a bit bigger, roughly six months-ish. And inside the little pocket on the top, I have taken out the rolled up hood which uses as a neck support for newborns so that can come out now and then I'm going to show you how to do rucksack straps first so clip your chest clip together and slide that down to the bottom of the runners and loosen your arm straps off now you're ready for your baby so hold your baby centrally on your front their head up on your chest and supporting them under their bottom and pop their legs up so their knees are up higher than their bottom and they've got a good pelvic tilt and then slide the panel up over their back and holding the chest strap pop it over your head like a t-shirt tighten the straps so we'll reach back for the webbing and pull that through to tighten same on the other side pull it, pull it through to tighten it up this is brand new out of the box so it's a very stiff carry at the moment it needs some breaking in there we are so, safety checks. Is baby's airways clear and visible? Yes. And are they held tight enough? If I lean forward, their body should stay stuck close to me. If it pulls away, it needs to be tighter. And they've got a nice smooth curve to their spine, a good pelvic tilt with their knees up and bottom down. And they're all very well supported. So, to get back out, we can reach up and Unclip that clip. Mine. Mine. Take your arm strap off. Mine. And then deal with baby. Now to do cross straps, <coughs> we'll unclip the straps from the carrier and loosen them off. Unclip the other side and loosen it off. So, baby back in. Same as before. Panel up over baby's back, being careful not to hook their legs in. And then pass the shoulder straps over your shoulders. One hand on baby. You reach to the opposite shoulder strap. Baby. Pull it straight down towards your bottom and then round to clip in there. Other hand on baby, reaching round for the opposite shoulder strap. Pulling down towards your bottom and round towards the bottom. I'll do you another one in a minute, just wait before tightening. Now, if you need to tighten up, we'll hold the strap there, pull any slack out of the carrier and pull it round towards the buckle. And then tighten, 
Same on the other side. Pull the slack out of the carrier, pull the slack round towards the buckle, and then tighten. So again, safety checks, airways clear and visible, and are they held tight enough? Knees up, bottom down, hands up by their face. Nice smooth and over their spine, nice smooth curved spine, and check that you're comfortable. The cross on your back, you're aiming to be about bra strap level in the centre of your back. That will help to spread the weight better. If it starts to ride up to the top of your neck, you're going to start getting quite achy because all the baby's weight will be pulling through the top of your shoulders. So you need to try and keep that cross as low as possible for your comfort. To get baby out of this, one hand on baby, unclip your side clips the straps off and then deal with baby. Thank you.